I swear I've literally changed up the angle for this about 20 times already. Let's just go ahead and get into this video. <laughs> Hello my little coffee beans, my name is Sarah, welcome to or welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you my scary little Christmasathon TBR. So if you haven't watched my previous announcement video for the scary little Christmasathon, it is a readathon that will be running from December 14th through the 20th with hopefully a live show on the 20th, not sure yet, but it is a scary themed Christmas readathon. So basically reading scary books in the month of December. If you want to know more of the details, go back to my previous video uh, explaining every single detail. But in today's video, I'm just going to quickly go over each prompt and then what I have picked for each prompt. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So prompt number one is I saw mommy killing Santa Claus and this is to read a book with red on the cover. And... Pretty much every book that I picked out for my TBR has red on the cover except for one. So I'm just gonna pick one of the books that I picked for one of the prompts later on. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you'll get what I mean in a second. But the book I picked for this one was Secret Santa by Andrew Schaffer. I think that's how you say his last name. Um, but yes, yeah, so this has red and green on the cover, so I thought it was perfect for this prompt prompt and basically this book is about a holiday office party I believe where they do a secret Santa gift exchange and somebody gets way more than they bargain for when weird stuff starts happening to them because I think they were gifted a demon. I don't really know too much about it but it looks really festive and it's scary and it fits for this readathon so I'm really excited to hop into this one. And then prompt number two is Fright Christmas, read a ghost story. And for this one, I actually am choosing to reread an old favorite of mine. It is technically classified as YA horror, I believe, or middle grade horror. I don't even know if that's a thing. But I read it when I was a lot younger, and I remember really, really liking it. So I wanted to reread it, and it's pretty short. Deep and Dark and Dangerous by Mary Downing Hahn. And like I said, it's super short, and it's the only book I picked for this that doesn't have red on the cover. It is a very blue cover, but I remember, like I said, I remember really liking it when I was younger, and I just want to reread it and feel all the feels. And obviously this does contain a ghost in it. Um, all I remember about this book is that it's about a little girl who finds this photo of her mother and her aunt and then there's a third girl in the picture that she doesn't recognize and I believe it takes place during the summer and she comes across this kind of mean spiteful girl named Sissy and they kind of form not a friendship I'd say but Sissy just follows her around everywhere and it's basically just finding out who the girl in the photograph is and what Sissy has to do with the story overall. Might not sound that interesting, but I remember really, really liking it when I was younger. Okay, and then prompt number three is, I can never remember in order. Prompt number three is, here comes Santa Claus, read a book featuring a kidnapping or abduction. And for this one, I'm choosing Kin by Keelan Patrick Burke. I don't know too much about this one, only that there's a lot of blood, there's a lot of gore, there's obviously an abduction of some kind, there's a race for a revenge kind of thing, and that's pretty much all I need to know about it. Alright, and prompt number four is Deck the Hells, read a book featuring an exorcism or evil entity. And for this one, I'm going to go with Secret Santa again because there is a demonic secret Santa gift in this one so evil entity hello and then prompt number five do you hear what I hear read a book set in a remote location and for this one I'm also picking kin by Keela bleh, by Keelan Patrick Burke because the house that they were taken hostage in I guess I don't really know that much about it but I don't know how many times I can say that but the house that all of these 
murders took place seems pretty secluded on a big field so i'm gonna go ahead and count that for that prompt all right and then the last prompt is prompt number six home for the horror days and that's to read any horror book on your tbr so for this one i'm going to be choosing tender is the flesh by augustina baz i don't even want to say i don't want to say her last name because i don't want to mess it up but this book obviously has read on the cover too so i could count it towards the first one as well along with any other ones I've talked about. Kin also has red on the cover. So this takes place in a world where animal meat is no longer edible, so they have to start eating human meat instead. And I hear it's very gory, it's very gruesome, and it's also pretty freaking short, so I'm really excited to pick this one up as well. Take a shot every time I say excited. And if you're under 21, take a shot of like apple juice or something. So that is my TBR for the Scary Little Christmas Readathon. I hope you can join us. I will tag all of the hosts info down below and tag me in anything on Instagram or Twitter or even send me a link to your TBR videos or even if you vlog your experience while doing this readathon, feel free to send me that link as well once you make your video. And yeah, I do have a few books that I can kind of interchange with some of the prompts if I am not feeling that book at a particular time. And also I do have a few audiobooks of um, holiday short stories and just things on my Kindle that are more holiday horror based. So I'm going to be listening to those throughout the week, reading those throughout the week, hopefully. So I won't just be reading these, I'll also be listening to those and reading those as well but I will keep you updated. I will be vlogging that week and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.